So here is a suggestion for a alternative Christmas lunch. We've got here whole red mullet, whole roast partridge, followed by pear and ginger crumble. For starters, we're going to do a salt pollock brandard. Now brandard is a fish pate and it's made up of salt fish, garlic, cream and mashed potato. So, in a pan with the pollock, some milk. Once you bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer and probably five minutes. We need to make an olive oil, cream and garlic infusion to mix with the fish when it's cooked. In the meantime, we can prepare our mullets. English fish is at its best in the cold waters. Really good time of year to buy English fish. This is, these are both from Cornwall. We're going to stuff them with some thyme, bay leaf, and a slice of lemon. Plenty of olive oil in a really hot oven, nice hot oven, about 12 to 15 minutes. So now we can put the brand out together. We've got our potatoes ready for mash. We've got our pollock ready poached and we've got our oil and cream and garlic mixture all ready to, to put together. So we'll just give that a short blast. And there we have it. That's our brandard. And then we'll check our fish. If it feels firm to the touch, then that's ready. So we'll just let it rest for three or four minutes just to let the juices move through the fish. We're going to finish the plate with some shaved fennel, gives it some nice freshness, and some black calamata olives. For our main course, partridge, whole roast partridge, with a potato cake and braised red cabbage. You can buy them like this, or your butcher can have them ready for you. Don't be scared of these. You will find some blood and some guts and some things that maybe you don't like the look of. But don't forget, it is a, a wild animal. We're going to put some flavourings inside the bird, so as it cooks, those flavours develop on the inside and go through the flesh, come right through the bird. We're also going to put some fat on the top of the birds as well, because they can dry out. It's a lean bird, it's wild bird. So we're going to go some duck fat here, and partridges in a nice hot oven. Should take 20 minutes, 25 minutes. We're going to make the potato cake now. It's going to be crispy on the outside. It's going to be soft in the middle. We're also going to lay it with some, some bacon. It's, it's your alternative to roast potatoes. It's, it's actually easier than roast potato. We want some sage in there, the good winter herbs, and duck fat again. This is what will make it nice and crispy. This is where you need nice thin slices. Otherwise, if you can't curl and shape your potatoes to that pan, it's not going to work so well. That's going to take about 45 minutes, possibly an hour. The red cabbage part of the dish, this is the sweet, sticky vegetable part of the dish. Take a decent sized pan, so you're going to do plenty of stirring in there. The cabbage and the onions, salt it from the beginning and the pepper. Onto the stove. We have juniper berry, coriander seeds, and some cloves. One cinnamon stick, balsamic vinegar, some dark soft sugar, and some red wine. With a 10 minute rest, those will be done. We've got our potato cake here, just crisping up on the bottom. Quick flip. There's your potato cake. Do a nice wedge of the crispy potato cake red cabbage, which is all broken down. It goes down by about a third. We've got a roast partridge, crispy potato cake, red cabbage, bread sauce, and gravy. Right then, dessert. Dessert, we're gonna go pear and ginger crumble. Pears are at their best at the moment. We've got some commis pears here. We are also gonna mix in a bit of apple as well, because the pear does get kind of sweet, and the apple will bring the tartness back as well. Because this is going to be really quite sweet, we need to take some of that sweetness away a bit. So we're going to use some lemon zest. Plenty of that. Ginger, shredded up finely. So we're going to lay all our fruit into a tray. So topping for the crumble, nice and easy. You take some cold chunks of butter and then the same amount of sugar. 
So that's your flour. And then you're bringing this together like a pastry. Some little additions for the crumble. We've got some oats, some nutmeg. Just one more thing. We're going to go some pecan nuts as well. And put them through your crumble mix as well. So now I'm going to lay the topping over the fruit. So we'll put that in the oven and come back in a bit. Okay, so there it is, our finished Christmas lunch. We've got here our whole red mullet with brandard on toast, some olives and shaved fennel. Then we move on to our whole roast partridge. Got a crispy bacon potato cake there, braised red cabbage, followed by our pear and ginger crumble with pecan nuts mixed in with the top in there. All of the cooking on the day can be done in about an hour. Leaves you plenty of time to enjoy yourself with the friends, not stuck in the kitchen all day doing the cooking. <laughs>